Hello fellow app music makers, Jay here from App Music Tutorials and welcome to lesson 9 using VST instruments. In this video we'll focus on how to add a third party VST instrument to Zen Beats to create an incredibly realistic string section for use in your productions, so stick around to learn more. This video is not meant to give you an in-depth look at what VST instruments are and the various uses for them or VST effects. Um, but rather to give you a brief overview and show you how to incorporate VST instruments into your own Zen Beats productions. First of all, VST stands for Virtual Studio Technology, and it's an audio plugin format or interface that integrates software synthesizers and effects into a digital audio workstations like Zen Beats. VST and similar technologies use digital signal processing to simulate traditional recording studio hardware. So before we can actually get started, let's head over to Spitfire Audio and take a look at the free offerings they have as far as VST instruments are concerned. Go to your browser and plug in labs.spitfireaudio.com and it'll bring you to the Spitfire Audio Labs page, which is a number of free orchestral library virtual instruments. So Spitfire Audio is located in the UK. It's known to create some of the finest orchestral sample libraries available. And the company has a line of absolutely free VST instruments anybody can download and use for free. And this is a great way to get acquainted with orchestral as well as other virtual instrument sounds without having to shell out the huge price tags these libraries can fetch. And they're also meant to entice you into purchasing one of their sample libraries, which can be hard to resist. So just looking at all these free high quality libraries. So new libraries are released periodically. And if you subscribe to Spitfire's newsletter, you'll be notified by email when the new labs become available. So the first thing you'll need to do is create an account. The second thing you'll have to do is download the Spitfire app uh, for either Mac or Windows. And then you'll want to go to the getting started section and there you're going to find a number of videos that will take you through how to get labs and also how to use the various instruments that you can download how to use scary strings how to use the synth pads how to use the choir instrument and so on so uh, once you've got that taken care of come on back and we'll take a look how we actually set up a vst instrument in Zen Beats. Just to let you know, the instrument I'll be using for this demo is the Strings Library, uh, just in case you want to follow along. At this point, you're prepared to use Spitfire Labs in your audio productions, but there are some settings that we need to apply first. So in order for Zen Beats to use any VST instrument, it has to know where to find it on your computer. So in order to know where the VST files are installed, we'll look at the settings in the Spitfire app. And here you can see we have VST2 for both 32-bit and 64-bit, as well as VST3, both 32 and 64-bit. But this lets you know where those critical files are located. So now we need to make sure ZenBeats knows where these files are located. So in ZenBeats, we're gonna go to the settings area and then choose the plugins option and this is where you're going to end up entering the paths to the VST plugins on your system. And this will allow ZenBeats to locate the VST instruments so they're ready for use. And after you've entered your paths, you click on the scan for new button. And then ZenBeats is going to compile a list of any new plugins it finds. In my situation, it doesn't find anything, which is what I expected. But for yours, it'll accumulate a list and you'll click OK. You'll click OK again. And then your system is going to be ready for use for your newly installed VST plugins. All right, so here I am in Zen Beats and I'm gonna show you how to actually use a VST instrument within the context of a project. So I've loaded the Hip Hop Studio template here and I'm gonna make a few changes. I'm gonna go up to the transport controls, expand that. I'm gonna turn off this key lock function. And then I'm gonna get rid of a few of these tracks. just to make things more manageable. And then 
uh, I'm going to add a track and it's going to be an instrument track. So here is my list of instruments over to the right and I can see all of them are listed. I can narrow the list to just VST2 or VST3, which indeed is what Labs ends up being as a VST3 plugin. Another way to find it here would have been to go to the drop down and look for Spitfire Audio. And I'm just going to click on the Lab Plus button. And here's the instrument. So I'm going to turn everything up here and I'm going to give it some reverb. And right now we're listening to the soft piano, which is really a great piano sound. Um, and it's achieved by actually using a thin strip of felt and putting that between the uh, hammers that strike the strings and the strings themselves. It gives a very unique sound, but that's not what we're going for right now. To change the sound, what you can do is just either kind of cycle through the different patches using the back and forward buttons, or if I click on the name of the patch, then I can start to look for stuff. And it gives me a way to narrow things down by category here, and I'm just going to choose the strings category. And I'm going to scroll until I find just the strings library. And here they give you three different versions of it, ensemble, long, which is long bowed notes, and then short, which is short bowed notes. So I'm going to grab the ensemble, and I can either double click right on it, or I can select it and click load, and it does the same thing. And here's the sound. Very, very cool. Let me close up the instrument itself. And we'll record a real quick passage here. Let me shorten that down. So that's how you can load a VST instrument into Zen Beats for use. And it adds a lot to your production values. I mean, listen to that. The quality of that violin sound is amazing. The quality of these sample libraries for free are amazing. So. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, suggestions, or feedback, I highly encourage you to leave it in the comments area. And if you'd like to see more Zen Beats tutorials, please consider subscribing. Thanks again for watching, and take care until next time.